Hey, welcome back to Leading Edge. Good to have you along. We continue our city council candidate profiles. In Toledo, six people, fully half of city council, will be elected to at-large seats in November. Early voting, of course, is already underway. Welcome in our first endorsed Republican, Tony Dia. Mr. Dia ran unsuccessfully previously for a council seat, but did garner some 40,000 votes or so. Yes, he is the dad of the Toledo police officer, Anthony Dia, killed in the line of duty back in the summer of 2020. Tony Dia, good to see you. Welcome back to Leading Edge with an eighth place finish in a 19-way primary. Eighth place finish is is pretty good stuff. And history tells us you do have a fighting chance to crack the, crack the top six in November. What's your strategy for moving up to the top six? Hi, Jerry. Thanks for having me. You bet. Um, I'm just going to go out there and, uh, you know, work harder. Uh, more signs, um, some YouTube videos, maybe some uh, TV commercials, uh, some door-to-door, -door, uh, get to know people, let them get to know me. Yeah. I would love to have a town hall where people could uh, come and ask me questions and, and get my answers. Um, you know, I'm an open person. I have nothing to hide. I've never had anything to hide. And I'll answer anything that I have the answers to the best that I can. All right, let's do a couple of them. We appear to be well on our way to yet another murder record in this city, breaking the one set, hmm, just last year. How would you stop the shooting and killing? I mean, I, of course, there's no magic wand, you know, Understand. but we need more police. Our numbers, again, I've said it, FDI, FBI data says we're supposed to be at 1,069 officers based on our population. Um, Toledo has shown success when they've had around 740 plus officers, um, crime rates were down. So we're under 600. So we at least need to be close to 800 police officers. We need to light up our neighborhoods. We need to, to trim overgrown trees that are blocking lighting. We need to uh, remove uh, abandoned houses. Uh, we just Would you support a curfew? For juveniles, yeah. yes, okay. for juveniles. Uh, let's face it, big chunks of our city don't trust the cops. Anthony knew that, you and he talked about that. The mayor's 30-member commission on community police relations and reforms folded in frustration, saying the divisions are decades old and just too deep. What would you do as a council member, Tony Dia, to bridge the divisions between the cops and the minority community? I, you know, I would like to see once the numbers are there and once we're able to do it, uh, more neighborhood policing, where it's the same officers policing the same neighborhood. Uh, that way, the neighbors, the people in that neighborhood get to know those officers, the officers get to know uh, the people in the neighborhood. And I believe it, that way it's safer for everybody, because okay. now John Doe can go up to the police officer and say, hey, you know, they're friends, they have a relationship. Hey, look out for this guy over here or vice versa. Um, or I heard this or you might want to keep an eye on that. OK, absolutely. Um, you said you would do town halls and you just said uh, you would talk about anything. The 800 pound gorilla in the room is the fact that as a kid, what were you, 16, Tony? 16, you, shot and yes. killed an, you shot and killed another kid. You yes. claimed self-defense, but pleaded to voluntary manslaughter, did less than a year in a juvenile lockup. I don't know, Tony Dia, how long, because none of us lived perfect lives. I don't know how long we pay for the sins of our youth. But what do you say to those who think that this decades old event, tragic event, disqualifies you from serving on city council? I, I don't see how it disqualifies me. I was a child that was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, I lied to my mom. I told her I was spending the night at a friend's house and we were at some girl's house and and just, it was a very unfortunate situation. Um, the gun wasn't mine. It was the adults that was with us. And I took it from them to go save my friend, my childhood friend. Uh, we were, it was probably about 10, 12 people. And unfortunately, um, yeah, I wasn't even aiming. Um, somebody was coming at me with a knife and, and mm. uh, you know, and, I, and I, I live with that. The older I get, the harder it gets for me because you know, I look back and, you know, in, in as an adult, you look back, you know, he was just a child, too. He was yeah. 17 years old, well, even though I was a kid. But it just gets harder for me as I get older. Yeah. And you've learned in adult life how to deal with loss. Um, um, and I, I trust that things are going well for Anthony and his family. Um, 
folks do keep remembering those that family young family in your thoughts your prayers we're out of time tony d i wanted to get you on to talk about your race for city council he's running as a republican finished eighth in a 19-way primary the top 12 move forward the top six win in november thanks for spending time with us sir thank you jerry